Hey everybody and welcome to another spoiler card for Edge of the Earth for Arkham Horror the card game. Uh, big thank you to Fantasy Flight Games again, third time for giving us three cards to spoil for all of you wonderful people watching at home and also us. It was cool to see the cards be like, yeah. and now like, I have that, feel special. you know, I'm going to get the card on the screen and then I'm going to talk about how it makes me feel because I know, <laughs> I know, I know what you're here for. I know what you're here for. We got Professor William Webb. He is a three cost, two experience, uh, item, I'm sorry, ally asset. <laughs> he is the finder of hidden connections. He has one damage and three horror, so he commits for a book and a wild. He uses three secrets. As a reaction, when you successfully investigate, exhaust Professor William Webb and spend one secret. Choose an item card in your discard, your discard pile and add it to your hand. Instead of discovering a clue at your location, you may discover a clue at a connecting location. So, this guy's really cool. Yeah. yeah he, he's pretty sick, and right off the bat, you, you say, hey, that's scavenging on a human. And you're like, nice. But there's also more to it, which makes it, you know... A little bit more on the why he's also a yellow card too. Yeah, I, I do like the design of this guy, where he, red and yellow have some really tough allies to compete with, mm -hmm. and this guy is definitely like more niche than some of them. Um, you know, if your plan is to investigate three times a turn, you can't compete with Doctor Milan. That's fair. If you want him to soak horror, you can't compete with uh, Pete Sylvester, but you can do like a little bit of both, kinda. Mm -hmm. You know, like he he does take three horror, which is it was nice for your survivor investigators who struggle with that a little bit and then uh his ability lets you like gives you kind of bonus book where like you just have to successfully investigate you don't have to it's not like six cents where you have to rely on drawing a special token or anything like that you can just be like yeah i'm gonna investigate this one shroud location and take a cool off that five shroud location yeah mm -hmm. i think that's really cool yeah and then you get an item back, which is yes, which is big. Where, where it gets a bit fun. We have a page open over here of uh, oh, yeah. items and things that also you know discard. Uh, so we'll talk about a bunch of interactions um, right off the bat. Though for me, this I love min and scavenging min is pretty you know pretty fun and uh, there is some um, you know just more of it is good right because the more pieces you have in your toolbox to get your deck doing what it wants to do, the better that's going to be. This guy also uses secrets, which are really easy to refill. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just think this guy's going to be very fun and exciting to build around. Uh, right off the start here, we have a uh, Wessie Wendy's amulet, which makes me think, <laughs> yeah, this guy's going to be a really good Wendy. Uh, she only has three books, so being able to use a different location strategy is nice for her. Um, she already sometimes likes to play the scavenging package, and also just you throw away cards like... Uh, they're trash. <laughs> yeah. yeah, her weakness does kind of hard counter him. Yeah, but like that's just life playing but, uh, Wendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. Uh, there has to be an aspect of that character that is not good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do also really appreciate that they made this guy level two because that you can play. Him. Yeah. He's Miskatonic for yeah. the thing. For the thing, yeah. The <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the Miskatonic, I believe, university funding or archaeology, archaeology Ar ministry. Fun Some name, just uh, the yellow thing that came guys. with uh, Harvey Walters. Yeah, lets you play more <laughs> yeah. Miskatonics. Yeah. yeah. What else we got here? Oh well, I mean, we got, want to we got the, the disc of Examna. You can just ignore enemies four times. Yep. That seems pretty, pretty okay. Yeah. Uh, we got the you knife. You don't pay for each time though. I love the knife. <laughs> Nobody else does. It's probably bad in an investigator who can reliably investigate as well. So. I, I do like. It is very expensive, um, but I like the idea of the. Um, the shovel, the gravedigger shovel, and the lantern. You know, you're just yeah. like constantly yeah. just finding clues or dealing damage, and then being like, "I'll take that back, thank yeah. you very much." Well, wow, this is really nice with the Tennessee Sour Mash. Yep. Yeah, I think the real winner of this though is the backpack. That's pretty sick. That's a uh, lot of value for. Yeah. Uh, man, that's gonna be like huge, especially like level two backpack with in Bob Jenkins. You're yeah, like, you're just oh, you're just oh, like oh. check it out, infinite garbage. <laughs> Bob can't actually play this guy. Oh yeah, no, that's yeah. weird. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna catch us a lot yeah. before we internalize these. Yeah, like he's the red one. This is yeah, he's the card. red one, but he's actually green. <laughs> green, yeah. If you yeah, look yeah, at um, yeah. like let's just like talk a, a, for a second about the card we spoiled a few days ago. Call for backup. If you even just have Professor William Webb and the Tennessee Sour Mash that you're recurring to keep healing, your call for backup now moves, gets a clue, and also heals the horror that this guy's been uh, soaking. That's pretty sweet. So that is like. Already, even just those two cards that are going to be in play, that your call for backup now actually does something. You can also use them to just recur your Schaffner's catalog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yep. uh, use that to pay for all the stupid items out of the backpack that you're recurring. This is true. Yeah. 
It's pretty solid with like uh, old, old key ring. Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that is you really good. You get to good investigate thing. and then you get the key ring back. And especially because, like, uh, as Travis said, a lot of, uh, if you're running on the survivor side, you don't really have, like, high book. So you just use your key ring to get a location that you're in down to zero and then grab them from the five mm -hmm. shroud location yeah. next door. Really which, good flashlights. Which too. you can also, yeah, then you use to proc him and get, like, other things back, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a bunch of, there's a bunch of cool stuff in other colors, such as the police badge, where you can just take extra turns on turns where you need it and get it back. Yeah. yeah. In order to play it again. Or discard it as a guts and then put it back in your hand, which is also good. And I mean, like, this also works, like, uh, in, like, because he's, as, as before like we went live, one. Bryn was saying that um, you, because he's a level two, yeah. he fits in, like, pretty much any color yeah. that can run yeah, yellow yeah. and red. So already you can do, like, roll and banks with this guy, and then you're going to be investigating anyway. Like, you miss out on, like, your goons that give you fist, but if you wanted to just keep having your police badge and just, like, take actions, right? You could. I don't really think that's very good, but that's uh, just like my opinion. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's what I said. Like, it's yeah. not like the if you look at just the hyper focus punch, 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 or get clues with Doctor Milan, it's mm -hmm. not great. But if you want to do more, there's these. This guy provides you those things to take. Good options. Yes, whether they're yeah. good options is contentious, but grotesque statue is also it's pretty sweet. Pretty sick. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it definitely is. You can use him to put your Hubert's key back into play and probably never die. Yeah, yep. like back into your hand, and then from your hand That's back so into play. That's so much money, though. <laughs> You're playing yellow cards or something. Yeah. What else we got? Use on the grenades. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can use it to get back the Mark One grenades. Let's go. It's just like I see a connection between those guys being blown into pieces and these grenades, and you're yeah. like, yes, give. Yeah. It's pretty neat, like with the, uh, and someone like Agnes with the Vermis Mysterious, where you can like. And also the Abyssal Tome, where you can load them up with Doom, throw them away, and then like, yeah, get and them, then back. them back. Yeah, yeah. It's a way to reset them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just a successfully investigates, so like you don't even... He doesn't need to do any work. He just sits here, and then he says, I have a, I found this after you investigate it. Is this important? And you say, heck yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can use him to safeguard your lockpicks. Yeah, yeah. the level zero yeah. ones. He's pretty solid with the uh, upgraded Ecole Lexicon, because that one, uh, if I remember correctly, does not... Shuffle your deck is to change each two onto three. Shuffle into your deck. Now, for some reason, I thought that you, like, if you discarded it on the new one, you didn't get removed from the game, but they do. So ignore that. <laughs> Yeah, just like yeah. also like you can use them as a way to like reset your forbidden tome for as a secret battery. Just like kind of sad. This is the best thing this card has been able to do. <laughs> but yeah, like the upgraded versions are really strong. But you uh, gotta you get can, there. You can just you put the secrets on him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. And we're also like probably just gonna get even more item assets that are going to be discarded from play and take advantage of. I mentioned that'll be a very common theme with this expansion. Yeah. Because, honestly, I could even see it kind of being, um, she hasn't been spoiled yet, but Dan uh, Daniela, right, or Danielle, whatever her name is, the mm -hmm. mechanic, she goes into Survivor starting as a Guardian, so she's probably going to have, like, that synergy that's probably going to go around, like, stuff like Knife, where you're, like, <laughs> you discard your items to, like, fight better, like she or, like, Baseball Bat, I imagine she might take advantage of that. Something like that. And because yeah. it... Like, this guy is probably here to help do that, potentially, but, like, if she's... He does be... require you to investigate, though, which is a little tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could also play him with things that don't require you to discard them, such as the bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. And they then just you're die. just like, I will never take damage again. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a nice survival engine. Yeah, it's just... Uh, <laughs> it'll take a long time for the game to kill you through that. Yeah. This guy is just going to be... It's going to be exciting, because now with every item that comes out, you're going to ask... Well, can Professor William Webb take advantage of this? And he says, oh, rightio, I can. I'm probably not actually British. I don't think Webb is a British surname, but still. It is nice to see them like printing something like this that can actually compete with a lot of the uh, old allies. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot. The ally slot is very contentious, and it is hard to print something that is comparable or like preferable to older allies without yeah. being without broken. just being yeah too strong like mm -hmm. here is a 
Like uh, Mr. Rook. Dr. M- uh, Mulan Crostopher, right? And he gives you, like, plus Mulan two book, <laughs> right? And, like, one, only one, still exhausts, right? Like, that might be neat if it is, like, plus two book, and if you investigate successfully, you lose a resource. Ooh. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Dark Horse. <laughs> yeah, more downsides on, on your cards, fantasy you play, please. Yeah, just some, Give us something to play around. Some upside and then a little bit of downside. Yeah, like a lot of upside, like a little bit of downside. Yeah. And bounce out. Yeah. But not like Promise Power. Yeah, or, or Mr. Rook, he also. Yeah, he was a bit, uh, his downside was a bit not as strong as his upside, but... Uh, this guy, he seems cool, and I'm just excited to see what else is in the pack and all the other spo- At this point, we haven't seen the other spoiler, spoilers from the other content creators, which you should check out on their channels or their streams or wherever they've released them to also go support them. Um, but also just, like, uh, it's exciting to see it all come together and see what... Uh, what's going to shape out from all this because it's hard to like talk in detail about a card without knowing everything else that's been released for it we can yeah. dream and be like charlie kane is going to have 10 in all of his stats right but that's just not reality because we don't know um yeah also but, i really hope he doesn't yeah, oh, yeah. me yeah. too um but uh what uh have anything else to say or should i close out this video I think I'm pretty done with this game. Uh, cool. I hope Charlie Kane fights vampires. <laughs> That's what I got. Um, I think that uh, what I was going to say at the beginning before I revealed the spoiler, it's fun to get these because now like these three cards, I'm going to be like, hey, these were our first like spoilers mm-hmm. that we got. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool that Fantasy Flight did it. And I, I highly support it. It's great for you guys watching, for us as the content creators, and for everyone else who got one. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, if you haven't been to our channel before, we're playing board games. I'm Justin. That's Travis. That's Bryn. And we release a new Arkham Horror video every day of the week, uh, ranging from gameplay to uh, deck guides to list videos to discussions to guides on how to win. Sometimes we have guides on how to lose. That might be our live deck building series. <laughs> Sometimes it feels <laughs> it like, like it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we just have like a nice chill atmosphere where it's just about having fun playing the game. So if you think that's something you're into, consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, and uh, check out all of the other Edge of the Earth player cards that might still be coming out by the time that this video is out there. Uh, Thanks for watching, have a good one, and as always, GG's.